Welcome to TMJ4 News at 5. I'm Katie Crowther. Barber shops and hair salons are among the many businesses opening back up this weekend with restrictions and new safeguards in place. This as Milwaukee leaders hosted a safety webinar for salon owners. Tony Atkins has a closer look. And no matter if you're in Milwaukee or any of the surrounding communities, if you want to get a haircut in Wisconsin, rules will be in place. For example, at the Heritage here in Wauwatosa, Barb will greet you, but only one person allowed in at a time. The purpose of that is to make sure everyone's distant from each other and safe. It's a busy day today. The smell of cleaning supplies filled the room at the Heritage Barbershop and Salon Saturday morning. Its owner, Barb Sorensen, said she enjoyed time off. Thank you for calling the Heritage. This is Barb. She quickly got ready, though, to open up shop. She's already booked for the next two weeks. It's fantastic. It really is. Uh, the last two days when we knew that, um, that things were back up and running, uh, I was in the shop here answering phones. Like Barb, many other shops throughout Milwaukee County are preparing to jump back into business with new rules in place. Even prior to the coronavirus, I like keeping the shop clean. We do not want you to test positive for COVID-19 and we don't want your clients to test positive for COVID-19. Saturday, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett teamed up with Barberside, a leader in salon disinfectant and solutions for a webinar on best practices on treating hair while being safe. Remember, the person most at risk in this environment really actually is you. If you're the stylist, the barber, uh, the nail tech. Key points include avoiding physical payments, cleaning common areas, and removing non-essential items like water stations. Practices Barb says she can maintain as she gets back to doing what she does best, cutting hair. It's great to be back and good to be making some money again. In Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.